Welcome back to comics. Hot comics TV. All right. Um. So I just want to talk about um Phantom Core. This is like um uh 90s comic book that came out um by Ni Nirasawa. Nirasawa. It's uh, an accomplished artist. He's done um um artwork for many companies like Atlas and other um, he's done this this obviously this very his sculptures and he, he's an accomplished artist and, and all he's um, in his own right so it's really cool to see uh, this comic because I it's very hard to track on um, or to try to get these comics like in the West. It's it's obviously not as easy as you would be able to get them in the um, in Japan. But anyway, um, <clears throat> let's take a look. So, okay, Phantom Core. This is like a short series that he did, uh, and he's got a very unique style of character design. This is the, one of the main characters. Uh, Nina, Nina Dur Durlano. Um, I'm not, I can't just really remember what happens in the story with this thing, but um, I just want to go over it because I really think that he's got a very unique voice. He's, um, his style is very unique. It's absolutely cool. And you don't really get to see this sort of thing, this sort of Japanese uh, comics that often. Um, but this is really awesome to see this type of work. I mean, he's using um, watercolors and to color this up. Maybe he's using acrylics, who knows? But very cool, cool, cool aesthetics as well. The character designs are very unique, very punk, very, very, very metal. See, these are the sculptures that I was talking about earlier. Uh, he does, he does all this um, sculptural work. <clears throat> and this is a bar. Wow, okay. Oh no, maybe not. Anyway. He's done a lot of production work for film as well. So, yeah. So these are... Okay, so these are collectibles, I guess. That you can get from, from his characters. These things must be very, very expensive these days. It's got a very similar, kind of like aesthetic, kind of on the lines of Glen Bar, I would say. Very cool. See, I love how he's done these. It's really bizarre, but very cool. Very original. That's. The biggest compliment that I have to say. Uh, very, I mean, everything's well accomplished, but it's very original. The character, the science, everything's very cool. And you can sort of see that he's inking with um, rapidographs, mechanical pens. He's you seem to do a shade, I mean, you can see that. He's done that there. So, all these sort of craft people, <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> craft armor people. That's really cool. I just wanted to show this because nobody talks about Phantom Core. Um, I guess this is very niche. Very cool. Let's see, I think he did character designs for Shin Megami Tensei uh, four, I would say.
Very unique stuff. This is crazy looking. Abstract sort of monster designs. I guess his influence would be uh, what do you call it? Um, Giger. Character art. That's cool, that's a cool idea. Could make a poster out of that. <laughs> so cool. Um, this is a bit, I don't know if, I mean, I guess you would have to go to, um, eBay to look for this sort of thing, I don't, or maybe a very specialist store, or ultimately go to Japan, um, to find if you can get this book, uh, I don't know where... I don't even begin to... I think eBay would be the way to get this. Uh, it's got a very similar, I guess, to style to, to the Berserk art as well. It's got a little bit of that. Maybe because it's dark. I guess um, if you enjoy this type of art and you like um, kind of like the horror aesthetic of it all, uh, punk and whatnot, <laughs> so cool. Uh, Grand Reaper skateboard. Um, you you'd be able to sort of like um, you'll have the appetite to to, to like this other thing. Uh, cool. Character design stuff, yeah. <clears throat> Just bringing it up because I like his work and I like... I, I would love to see more. I, I, I don't know if there's more available work out there. I'm pretty sure there would be. Um, but... Yeah, it's... It's tough to find these things. Maybe this other titles, I don't know. If you know, let me know, please. There's cool monsters everywhere. <laughs> it's very cartoony, very quick. Very cool. This is very cool. Ah, here we go. This is Nirasawa. Okay. Seen back then in 90 something. It's having an interview. Uh, it'd be tough to translate something like this, just maybe with a silver, <laughs> very anime-like, that's cool. <laughs> ah, a sticker that I will never use, but that's cool. It's holographic sticker, nice. Alright, there it is. Um, is that any year? Oh, wow, 1994. Wow, sirs, wow, okay. So Phantom Core by Nirisawa Yasushi Nirisawa. He is a well accomplished artist. I just wanted to bring these up because I think that um, 
should be more uh, more conversation about his work. So this is a cool book. Uh, if you can find it, good luck. Thank you for watching. Till next time.